Right. So, all right. Okay. No room for an umbrella there. Okay. Imagine your head is Kennedy's head. Tell me how you're going to put a bomb in it. Up his nose. Like they did the Egyptian pharaohs, but in reverse. They didn't bomb their heads. No, they pulled them out like a magician's handkerchief. And that's what happened to Kennedy? In reverse. Well, no, they didn't They're pull Basically, it. you're seeing a magic trick and something sort of made out of silk. You, you, a bomb, you, you, a silk you, you, bomb you, you going off that, in his you, head. You say that facetiously, but it was No, I don't. I'm just trying to pursue right. your point. I'll say that in, in a way, it was a kind of a magic trick. Perhaps the most frightening and horrible magic trick the world has ever seen. And what about the second bullet? See how you twisted that? What made no. him fall forward? He just leant forward when, uh, when, in surprise because he went, oh, the back of my head's come off. And he leant forward saying, did you see that? Uh, you know, there's lots of reasons why I could have leant forward. Perhaps he was trying to change a CD. A CD in the 60s? What? There is a lot of evidence. What the hell would the President of the United States have been doing American. listening to a CD that hadn't even been invented as he drove on a Wasn't it cavalcade invented? through... The FBI knew about CDs for ages. They didn't even have eight-track cassette players. There's so much about the world that you don't know, Chris. I mean, I know you, you're, you're, very, you know, you're pretty good at your job, but there are so many things that you appear to be... You think, you think the Prime Minister runs England? What a laugh. What a laugh. What a laugh. Does he heck? Who does run the world, Alan? Trade unions. Trade unions have been emasculated for over a decade. What about that bloke who runs the fireman? He's quite dodgy. 